I'm heading to Chicago Avenue and Hamlin. It's frightening because they do a lot of drug dealing in that area. I don't like to hear that my daughter's in that area at all. See right here? See a lot of drug addicts like coming here. favor if you see this child could you please call at this number she's my daughter she's been missing for a week okay hi how are you this is my daughter she's been missing for a week if you see her could you please call that number thank you con permiso señora este es mi hija ya lleva una semana que no ha regresado a la casa si la ve puede llamarle ese número por favor gracias is she with a bad guy i don't know who she with because a real friend wouldn't have a 14 year old out in the street I'm telling you, for the life of me, I never thought I would be out in the streets passing out flyers looking for my own daughter. This is a parent's worst nightmare. As soon as they called me and they said, do you have a daughter named Crystal Sanchez? I said, okay, officer, what did she do? And he was like, well, she's been caught up shoplifting. And I was like, in a store shoplifting? For what? Crystal gets everything and anything she wants. Go get your lunch. Are you gonna sit starving? Hey, you don't need to talk to me. Oh yeah, well I am talking to you, sassy. So this is what happened. I was at someone's house and we was partying and then it was like 8.30 and he, he said, you know you ain't going home, right? And I, I looked, um, I guess I'm gonna be on the run again. And then that's what happened. She thinks you gonna wind up dead on her doorstep, but it doesn't seem like you care. I want to pick up and just run and hide, leave, and pretend this is all a bad nightmare. And I've seen Damaris imitate things that Crystal does, and it's frightening. It's taking a toll on me, on my health. I'm afraid that it could go to the extreme where I can have a cardiac arrest and who's going to take care of my little one? That's my biggest worry. She's being a little bit nice today. Cause Due to the fact that it's her sister's birthday. Yeah, I cook breakfast. Something I don't do. Look at the Barbie movies and music. Look at that one too. Who bought that for you? Crystal has a father but he doesn't partake in her life. Who she has become in life has part to do with him being an absent father. I've tried with Crystal counseling. I've, I've put her in hospitals. Doesn't matter what I do or say, it's like, she's not, it's not me who she wants. It's her dad. Lord, thank you for the blessings that you give us on this day. Thank you for the food that you've provided for each and every one of us, that you continue to bless us and bless those that are less unfortunate. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Is that you? That you the star of the show right now. You're the leaders of the school. You are who the students are looking up to. And what example are you setting for them? That you acting a fool on the bus. What if somebody did your little brothers like that and your little sister? You have two little brothers and a little sister. What if somebody did your brother and sister like that? You wouldn't like it, would you? You don't know that. If it gets to a point where the younger students that he's bullying, if their parents want to press charges, they can. Get out of my face, though. Bro, get out of my face, bro. Bro, get out of, get out of my face, bro, for real, bro. Oh, oh, like he wants some problems, don't tie the little boy looking at him like that, don't he? Want you to leave him alone. That's why you jumping now, cause you come in my face and say, come in my face and say, what's up, see what I'll do to you. Fuck all JoJo and them niggas. 
Fuck all Tojo and them niggas. I live. I'm going to see my dad in jail because he locked up for robbing and killing someone. And I ain't seen him in a very long time. And I want to ask him real serious questions. I want to remember the stuff I want to ask my dad. So I won't just get there and just look stupid. I want to ask him how old I was when he got locked up. My mom always used to tell me I ain't had no dad because he wasn't never, he was never there for me or to help her take care of me. I don't got no father figure in my life. So I'm gonna act the way I act because ain't nobody, can't nobody control me. So the stuff I do, can't nobody stop me from doing it. Get in trouble in school, fighting every day, stuff like that. I wish my daddy was out of jail. I wish we had a good family. I'm going to uh, pick up Cortez. His dad is in jail. He have not seen him in about eight years since he was six years old. Where you going? You going upstairs? Yeah. Coming up? Yeah. You got to take two of them at bedtime. Okay. His methamphetamine, you got to take one in the morning. This is Respidol. You got to take this in the morning and at 4 o'clock. Okay. All right. I want to ask my daddy. Okay. How old he is? Do he miss me? Do he think about me every day? What kind of jobs he doing now? Do he want to get out? Do he want to get out of there? Do he want to start all over again? Okay. That sounds like some good questions. Uh... What school you go to? Money Fiore. That's probably what he's gonna say, right? You go to Money Fiore? Hey, man, is Money Fiore still a bad boy school? Kind of. This one together. Okay. Because she circled this with two. That's two, about the most? Talking to him. Just gonna be nervous to talk. So we're gonna do a little role playing oh. and I'm gonna pretend I'm your father coming in. You haven't seen me since you were six years old. You was a little bitty kid. Now I'm coming in and you looking, you're 14 and I'm sitting down and I'm looking, I'm gonna say, hey Cortez. How you doing, man? How's it been going? High school? It's off and on. I've been getting in trouble off and on. Why you been getting in some trouble? 
Because I haven't took my medicine in a long time. Okay. Well, you got to take your medicine, man, because you don't want to end up like me, being a hit. If you got anything you want to ask, just feel free to ask me, man. I'm your father. Okay. How did you get in here? Well, I used a gun to try to settle something. And uh, it caused me the rest of my life in prison. Do you think about me? I think about you every day, man. Every day I think about you. Oh, my son. Oh, my son. What good is it when you locked up, man? Do something right. Do something positive. I believe I was put here to help y'all. Drop your hands so you can see. Their fathers out on the streets, in jail. Just close your eyes and think of hell. That's where they at, they in hell.